Hi, this is Wishup, and this is a reading I'm doing July 11th, and I think it's just for a week. I think I'll do another one for the lunar eclipse. This is just like a little check-in to see what condition uh, our conditions are in. So uh, I'm doing it with my little ginger kids again from the Candyland game, and the reason I'm doing it is I'm sort of doing an interlocking issues reading. So the green represents um, physical resources, anything that can be spent, your money, your time, your health, right? Anything that can be expended. Um, this represents anything in your past, past situations, things you need healing from, uh, also the ability of the past to provide advice, experiences, lessons learned, um, ancestral assistance, that kind of thing. The red, this is the area of relationships, uh, all uh, family, romance, work, um, but your relations with the living people around you, it also represents your deepest heartfelt desires. The yellow ginger kid represents areas of future planning, of aspirations, of goals, of uh, dreams, things you want to do out in the world. So. If you have any one of these areas where you think you could use some improvement or some change, um, some growth, or that feels stagnant, then you can think about these. But each one of the issues is going to interlock the other ones. We're going to talk about the way each ones are affected. And hopefully, because I'm doing Lenormand here, um, you're going to see how when you're reading from a different direction, so to speak, or a different perspective, you get a different reading. Let me angle this down a little bit here. Okay, so uh, it was Madame Lenormand's birthday not that long ago, uh, end of June, uh, which I didn't know. So uh, I think it was her birthday or her death day. I get those kind of confused. Uh, anyway, so I thought it would be fun to do a Lenormand reading. So here is this one. And this one, we'll just move the little ginger kids in. You get the concept. But I want to keep them on here so you can hopefully remember what they uh, represent because I, as I talk through, there we go. And we're going to flip these over. Bear, Lily, because I'm doing Lenormand in houses okay so i'm gonna go garden clouds anchor hope you can see that and tower hopefully you can see all of these and i'll just maybe Continue moving this in a little bit more just to make sure we really can see the. Um, I have written on the bottom deck of cards, the Lenormand deck, certain associations I have. Those are not hard and fast and you don't need to follow them yourself, um, but they are just some little associations that I use. Oops, let me see, I've got this tilted and you can't see all of it. Whew. Okay. Finally got everybody on the board. All right, so for the issue of uh, finances, personal health, um, time, things that are expenditures, right? Things that you can expend. We have got the garden in the house of the clouds. So what that means to me is that there is a lack of clarity the situation or the problem might be that there's a lack of clarity about what other people are going to expect from you so you might have debts coming up that are related to something public like let's say taxes could be that kind of thing or again to public exterior activities maybe it's schooling or um, maybe someone else in your community is depending on your time uh, as a volunteer for something, or maybe it's uh, your church needs help. And this is a situation that you're not clear about. 
You're like, well, I don't know, actually. I'm a little worried about perhaps the obligation you've taken on uh, financially or with your time or with your energy because this public expectation that possibly you've declared, I'm going to do this in public. I'm going to offer this up. I'm going to uh, participate in this way. And now it is unclear how much that's really going to drain from you. And so that could be a situation of concern. So that is sort of the situation as is. Let's go through all the situations as is. So in this situation where we've got um, issues of the past or issues that need healing or issues where we're trying to uh, gain experience from previous lessons. The thing is we have someone who might be an authority figure or a figure of strength. Uh, so it could be an advisor or uh, even with the bear, it could be a financial advisor. Um, or someone who's uh, been a very important person to you in terms of your uh, spiritual life or your moral life. And you're not really sure what this person would say about the steps you're taking forward or the um, condition in which you find yourself. Maybe that's why you're seeking advice because you feel unclear and you wish you had a firmer sense. Um, the bear is also my card you can see for the first house. So a lot of times it's the sense of self. And this would be a condition where you're not feeling very centered in your own self. And because you don't feel that centered, you feel unsure about taking action. And maybe you're not sure even how strong you are yet. Maybe you're recovering from something or you've been trying to get over a difficult situation and you're afraid to test your strength because you don't know how strong you are. Um, you're not sure and it's making you kind of hesitant because you either don't have the advice you need or you might feel also here in a spiritual sense or even um, somewhat an emotional sense, even though these are your relationships, that you don't have the backup that you need. You want to feel very solidly supported and maybe you're not feeling that right now because things might be chaotic or uh, unsure and you're just, you wish you felt more stable in your position uh, in terms of moving forward. So let's go here with relationships. We have the anchor in the house of the lily. So this would say to me that right now you're feeling safest in your older relationships. And maybe that is tied to with this idea of, you know, kind of searching for that kind of wisdom. This is kind of a time where um, what's oldest feels best because there's a level of comfort and trust here. And so you're feeling not so much like looking outside for tons and tons of new relationships, necessarily romantic or work, but that you might be interested in a work relationship, friend relationship, romantic relationship that is referred to you from someone you already know. That's a situation right now that has a lot more appeal. Now, it could be, because we're talking about blockage and stuff like that, it could be that it's holding you back because you're sticking with the familiar and you've already exhausted everybody that you know and everybody's friend that you know, and there is some need to kind of step out um, a little bit from where you're at. But right now, we can at least say that these uh, oldest, closest relationships feel safer, they feel better, they feel, um, yeah, they just feel more comfortable. I feel like with the clouds, the clouds and the anchor, there is a desire here for security. There's a desire to be able to feel trust in things. Um, so here in the area of future goals, we have the tower in the house of the fox. So, okay, for me, fox is a mercurial card. It can mean uh, something is wrong. It can mean that. 
it can also be a, a card of being very resourceful and crafty and clever and being able to get by by figuring out innovative ways to do things. So foxes for me can also be a card of divine path, um, entrepreneurship. And so where we have the tower, which can also be a card of isolation or being at the top of an organization, there's a sense here in future goals that your future goals, a limitation of them perhaps, might be that right now you're all on your own, that you're feeling like you have to do everything yourself for these future goals because you're isolated from other people. Um, that I've been doing this on my own without a you know, coach, without a trainer, without a business partner or collaborator or without a, a formal structure. You know, the tower is formal structures. So maybe you've been doing a side hustle, but you're thinking, I might be limited. I might need to make this an official business, like declare it a corporation, something like that. And am I being held back by that? Because this reading is about things that we think are holding us back. So we're not sure of our own strength in this area. We're not sure of what other demands are going to come on our time or if we've overcommitted to other people or other efforts. We might not be willing in relationships to stray beyond the familiar because we're feeling an intense need for security and trust. And in this area, um, we may be limited that we don't have structures around us or other people around us because we've been going it our own way. It's got us very flexible, we're very fluid and very nimble, but also in terms of scaling up our progress, it may be a, a problem. So as we talk about how these things kind of crisscross, and I'll try and do it quickly before I run out of time. Okay, so where we're unsure of our own strength, it also makes it difficult to step forward with our future um, direction because we don't think we can necessarily get other people behind us. We're like, oh, other people aren't going to want to, you know, support my goals. They aren't going to be interested in my view of things. I don't even know what they think of my view of things. So you might need to try to find trusted people that you can expose your ideas to and your vision to, to kind of bulletproof them a little bit. Um, and see, maybe you're more supported than you think. Maybe you're closer to taking an official step than you think. And because you've been keeping it to yourself, you don't really know that because you haven't really tested some of these ideas. Here where we've got this idea of um, you know, safety, and here we have the idea of uncertainty in the public. Well, you know what that is. Like, okay, in order to get something fresh out of my relationships as business partnerships, romantic relationships, anything else, I am going to have to dare the unknown of the public a little bit. I'm going to have to step out in a way that I'm not doing right now. And it's going to be a little uncomfortable. And I can't take that sense of discomfort as a good reason not to do it because I'm liable to feel a little uncomfortable about it, but that's okay. It can still be very fruitful. It can be very good, but I am, if I want something new from my relationships, I'm going to have to seek something new and I'm going to have to do something new. So here where we've got these financial situations that are uh, potentially getting in the way because we're not sure how much they're going to demand of us. And it's like, oh, I have financial goals, but I also have these public goals that things I declared, things I said I would do for other people. And they might be getting in the way of your goals because you're thinking, well, I can't do anything officially in my goals because I don't know what these other people are going to need from me. And that could be your job, what it needs from you. It could be, as I said, donations or charitable things. And the fact is, if you want these goals to be accomplished, you have to be at the top of an organization instead of being just a person who's always contributing to other goals, if that makes sense. So uh, I think that's kind of it. This is the, the other thing, too, is um, you know, th where these things relate is your future goals will relate to conquering sort of maybe some past fears of uh, not having enough confidence in your own strength or your own um, 
your own savvy and your own wisdom. You know, the fox is clever and nimble, but the bear is prudent and strong over the long haul. And maybe you need to have more confidence that you are making good decisions over the long haul. And that will give you the confidence to create an organization around your dreams or to approach an organization. This could be a bank, you know, where you're approaching them for funding. But you'll have more confidence doing that if you don't feel like a slick little fox trying to get away with something, but you realize that underlying this stuff is really something very solid and very good and very reliable for the long term. And really getting in touch with that will help you make a better pitch to this organization and to feel better about the scale up that you want to attempt. Um, let me see if there's anything else I want to say. Okay, so here in the situation where, oh my gosh, I've got these obligations. I've got physical goals, financial goals, real estate goals, uh, you know, for myself. And I'm afraid I can't meet them because I don't know what is coming down the pike in terms of other obligations, work, social, organizational. So here you are asked then to trust in your oldest and best friends who are part of this public group to whom you've made uh, obligations. You know, talk to your boss if you have a close relationship with them. Talk to um, your closest friends in your church. Talk to your family members who also have competing obligations on your time. Really share with them in a calm way. This is a very like calm and serene kind of way, but share with them what your concerns are and see if there's a way that we can get some of the uh, lack of clarity out here where we can make clear what your desires are and also what their needs are and get a little more clarity on that in a situation of trust. But this is not a time to maybe run screaming with your hair on fire and say, I quit, I quit everything. But this is a time to approach those people with whom you have long-term trusting relationships and try to gain some confidence and maybe some good advice from them about what can be done. So uh, I hope you find that interesting or an interesting way to read. Um, anyway, I hope that whatever condition your condition is in, it's great and going in the way that you want. And until next time, rock on with your bad selves.